Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? At Houston Station, we're ready for the event. Weather Channel, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call a station for a voice check. With the snow, 41 in Boston, your temperatures actually come up this morning. Take you over here into Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Missouri, the Quad Cities, up into Wisconsin. Look at these temperatures in the teens, but Chicago, we're at 33. That cold air has yet to get here in Chicago, but it's very... This is Weather Channel. Do you hear me? The snow are, are coinciding, and so when it comes in, it's going to snow. And the station, this is Weather National Channel. Space How do you get you loud and clear? Snow in Chicago is our forecast. We've upped it just a little bit this morning. Six to ten for Weather Channel like, International um, Space Station. We have you loud and clear. Well. And How do you copy us? Saturday morning, we'll get some lake effect. Do you have Weather Channel station? Do you, this is Weather Channel. Do you hear me? Chicago, your morning rush completely different than your evening rush. As Weather the snow Channel, rolls this is in, International Space in Station. We hear you. We copy you loud and clear. Conjunction. So heads up on what? Copy that. Stand by. You'll be speaking. Stay, stand by. You'll be talking with Stephanie Abrams for the Weather Channel. Stand by. Temperatures that are well below freezing. 22 in Chicago. 24 in Chicago on Saturday and much of the Great Lakes. Seeing temperatures at or below seasonal averages. That's your winter weather update. Heads up. Let's head back to the studio. Mike, we're going somewhere that's very cold right now into outer space. We've seen some amazing video this year from the International Space Station, including this video of Hurricane Irene that you can see behind me. Just a beautiful sight there. Today we have the opportunity to talk to the crew of Expedition 30. Joining us live is Commander Dan Burbank and flight engineers Andre Capers and Don Pettit, thanks for being with us. Commander, you've been on the st space station since November. How's it been so far, and what's your current mission? Um, it's been great, actually. It's been very busy, and uh, we've been busy doing some science. We've also been very busy upgrading oh the avionics on board the International Space Station. All right, Andre Kuypers, how about you? What is it like to see? Can you even describe in words what it's like to see Earth from the International Space Station? Yeah, well, it's, of course, very special and has different aspects. If you look uh, straight down, it's a very colorful planet with uh, beautiful deserts and uh, beautiful turquoise waters. Uh, if you look beside it, you see the blackness of space, and all of a sudden it's a, it's a fragile and small planet. So it has a lot of different aspects. Don Pettit, how long will you stay on the space station for this mission? And how long would you want to stay if you could, you know, they gave you a choice? Uh, we'll be here until the middle of May. And uh, what I would like to do if the technology were there would be to immigrate to space. I'd load my family up on the next spaceship and move into space and never come back to planet Earth. Well, it has been an absolute thrill speaking to all three of you and enjoy your time up there at the International Space Station. Hopefully one day we'll all be able to join you as well. We certainly appreciate it. How cool is that? We just talked to that. We just talked to three people on the International Space Station. I mean, it blows my mind. Let's get away. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event. Thank you, Weather St uh, Channel Station. Please stand by while we reconfigure video and audio communications.